But Harry, I want you to kind of chime in as a starting point on the role of the smartphone, and then I'll have the rest of you guys start jumping in regarding especially the, the, how you see what's really going on with Netflix and what do you think about this new move with the thin line. And, and Thomas, we'll go to you, especially on the gadget side of the standpoint, how consumers are really looking at what they want. Harry? Well, Tim, you talked about sort of 1981 as um, the starting point for the PC. I always say, it, I think that with smartphones, we're in about 1983 right now, which kind of makes sense because if you, if you say that the iPhone was sort of the IBM PC in some ways of smartphones, given that there were PCs before the IBM PC, you know, the iPhone got things rolling in terms of, of uh, a platform that has actual applications and true internet access. Uh, so I think we're in 1983, and I think part of being in 1983 <coughs> is it's just it's still very unclear what's going to happen and who the major players are going to be. If you looked at PCs in 1983, the major players were IBM and Apple and Atari and Commodore and Osborne uh, and a bunch of software companies which no longer exist. And I really think that it's just we do know that Apple is off to a fantastic start with smartphones. And other than that, I think it's very unclear. Uh, who's going to make the software for these things? Um, we, we now know pretty definitively that Microsoft is not going to have a smooth transition from dominating PC operating systems to dominating phone operating systems. And in fact, it's not entirely clear that Microsoft will be a, really a player in those at all. Um, I, we're going to just have numbers about how Nokia is doing. I think, I think it's not even clear that companies like Nokia that have dominated handsets will be major players with smartphones. Um, and even carriers are going to have to change a lot to, to dominate just because, of, you know, up until now, the world of phones, the carriers have controlled them and they've revolved around the carriers. And the, the iPhone also changed that because the iPhone really revolves around Apple rather than from the carrier. I truly really believe that um, almost everything from the right on up in this will sort of slowly go away. And the, the two things that you will use for computing moving forward are a device along these lines and the internet. There's just a lot of what you do will be stored on the web. And there will always be times when you want a keyboard. I don't, I don't think large keyboards are going away. And I, and I know large screens aren't going away. But there's, there's simply no reason why you can't just sort of walk around with your phone in your pocket and sit down at a, a nice keyboard in the screen. So I, I think that you know, we'll sort of be moving towards a dumb terminal mode for a lot of this stuff. And I, I really see no reason uh, within 10 years and maybe within five years why you're going to want to have computing devices uh, other than operable things. I think that these are the mini computers of, uh, of 1981. They're still around now, but they won't be a few years from now. 